this out. That's Trending with JJ. Online now. JJ's That's Trending is powered by Midwest Kia. House lawmakers passed a two-part stopgap spending bill yesterday that would extend government funding into 2024 and avoid a Friday shutdown. The measure now heads to the Senate, which is expected to send it to President Joe Biden's desk by the end of the week. It's a busy time of year for the Salvation Army here in the Wichita area, and yesterday they put out a call for volunteers to help with their winter programs, which include bell ringing. This weekend, the weekend before Thanksgiving, part of I-135 will be closed on Saturday and Sunday at the North Junction to allow for bridge work. There will be detours and there will be delays. The Air Force's newest plane, the B-21 Raider, also known as the Flying Wing, just had its very first successful test flight, and it looks like something out of the future. And it wasn't snakes on a plane, but a horse on a plane that was the problem on a flight from JFK to Belgium. The horse got loose in the hold of a cargo plane, which caused the pilots to have to dump 20 tons of fuel over the ocean near Cape Cod and head back to the terminal. A veterinarian was then asked to hoof it back to the plane to get the animal under control. Asked if they were happy about the whole situation. The vet said, nay, and that's trending.